Family of a woman murdered in her downtown Orlando apartment is taking legal action. More than a year and a half after the death of Sasha Samsudin, her parents have filed a lawsuit against Uptown Apartments, Quicksec Lock Company, and Vital Security Company. The man charged in the case, Stephen Duxbury, was a security guard at the complex. News 6 reporter Vanessa Ariza has been reading through the lawsuit and talked with the attorney representing the Samsudines. Matt, that attorney tells me that he wouldn't mind talking with the media, but he doesn't want to jeopardize this case. That being said, one of those companies listed in the lawsuit is Quickset. They make locks very similar to this one. In fact, this is a Quickset lock. And in that lawsuit, lawsuit, they have a picture very similar to this, and it specifically notes this little side nugget on the side. This 101 page lawsuit lays out why the parents of 27 year old Sasha Samsonin want to pursue legal action against Uptown Apartments, Quickset Corporation, and Vital Securities and Investigations. Early in the lawsuit, a picture of this lock is shown. It's a Quickset lock. Quickset is very popular. It's, uh, like I said, it's in 95% of the homes, there's two brands that are out there, uh, Schlegg being one of them, Quickset being another. Those are what we see quite a bit, especially in the Central Florida area. Bo Armstrong with Armstrong Lock and Security says there's a convenience with locks like this one, but also a risk. See that little slot to the left of the lock? That allows you or anyone who has access to your key to reset your lock to fit another key. With that particular lock, there, there are some methods to manipulate that, that open without showing any signs of forced entry. Uh, so that in, a homeowner wouldn't even know that someone got into a home uh, through that cylinder. Um, it would take a forensic locksmith to kind of point out some things. The lawsuit also notes the interior of the lock, saying this piece of plastic on the inside makes it easy for someone to break in. Armstrong says with these type locks, the way of getting in has more to do with manipulation of the lock itself rather than unlocking the key code. Earlier today, I went inside Uptown Apartments to speak with a representative. I was directed to their corporate office. I have emailed them. I have yet to get a response from that from them. Now, as far as quick set, they did send me a response saying they stand behind the security of their locks and they will continue and help in any way that they can with this investigation. Now, as far as vital security, who is also named in that lawsuit, I spoke with the attorney who is representing them. He said they haven't even received the lawsuit that was filed on Monday. Matt.